This video will walk you through how to manually enter grades within Talent. If you're looking for information on entering grades for uh, specific content items, such as assignments or quizzes or discussions, you wanna go to those individual modules, though I will briefly touch on it here. Um, but you'll wanna go to those individual modules as those are covered in there. So I have two options here when I enter grades. The most logical place probably to go here, you'd think, would be to click on enter grades. But I can actually get to that, uh, the Enter Grades page from this Manage Grades page. So I've got my one item here, my cat in class discussion that I wanna enter grades for. I can click on the arrow next to this and I can say Enter Grades. What this will give me is this will give me um, like a spreadsheet view and this will list all of my students here and I can enter in a score for them, say 10, and I can click on this little speech bubble icon with some feedback and put in my feedback and save. And I can save that. Now, um, notice my grade scheme shows up here. A couple other settings on this page. It's kind of hidden, but there is an option here to show details and overall feedback. You can put something in this overall feedback area and it will show for everyone. So um, one way that, um, that I use this in my class is directing students to the progress area of the course to view specific comments on a rubric. So you might put something in there that says like, please see progress for a more detailed grade report. And then all students will see that on this assignment. Um, and so if I want to clear this grade, then or, so then coming down here, um, I can check a box here for my test student. I can click on grade. I can clear her grade. Notice there is this option for exempt and unexempt. So this is used not probably often here at Kirkwood, but this is used or if you have a student that say they missed an assignment and you are going to allow them to miss that assignment and not have it count against them. You can actually exempt them from that assignment. And what that will do is it won't count them to, towards their overall grade and won't force you to enter a zero for them. You can also unexempt students from a grade. And um, you can also email that student from here. Okay, so I'm gonna save that. So I'm gonna go back to grades and the other place I can go in for entering grades is obviously in the enter grades area. So if I click on this page, this is gonna give me um, a, a pretty nice grid view of my grade book with all my students listed here in the left-hand column and they'll be repeated over, kind of over and over again every five columns or so, depending on how I've set that up. Um, there is an option here to switch to spreadsheet view as well. If you change that view, that will allow you to type in right in here so notice um, I've got a couple assignments in here. I can actually type right here or I can click the arrow next to say my cat in class discussion here and click on grade all. And that's gonna take me right back to this page I was just on to enter the grades. So I'm gonna go back. And um, let's go into one of these assignments that say we've already created. Um, how about this whiskers discussion? And I'm going to go into grade all. And we'll notice on this whiskers discussion that it's been graded, but there's a column here for submission. This is because this is tied to an item in the course content, and that in, in this case just happens to be the discussion. And so I can actually click on the student submission, and I can grade it right from here, and then that will transfer into that gradebook column.